we expect the cottage to we expect the cottage to leave the one military hospital at around eight. But uh, just to look back in terms of uh, this process, we know that uh, this process was started long time ago to bring back home the remains of those South Africans who have died uh, outside uh, South Africa. But perhaps let's start with Sarah Batman. The first repatriation we saw was that of uh, Sarah Batman and later we saw uh, the repatriation of the remains of uh, J.B. Marx and Moses Kodani from Russia uh, in Moscow. I remember visiting the graves and at that time the Russians were not willing to release their remains, saying that uh, they feel that uh, this is a way to connect with South Africa. And now we are here uh, with uh, remains coming from uh, Zambia. We know that uh, among those who are, the, whose remains are here is the former ANC Secretary General Moses Kodani. I want to talk about Moses Kotani. Moses Kotani was the leader of the ANC. He was an advocate. He came from the Val. And we know that uh, he played a very prominent role during the formation of Umkonto Wesizwe before uh, leaving the country. We also have the remains of other important people, including Mr. Kuzuayo. As you know, that uh, uh, he was from KwaZulu Natal. He played a very important role in terms of uh, the liberation of the, of the uh, country. You also have the remains of a 10-year-old boy, the son of the late uh, Defence Minister Joe Mudise. And I can indicate that uh, we have uh, 42 people who the remains are back in the country, some from Zambia and some from Zimbabwe. We will continue to give you more information about this important day. Thank you very much for those updates and we'll continue through the morning to bring you those updates and uh, our broadcast really focusing on this uh, massive um, and very spiritual event of the homecoming ceremony for those who died in exile. They are now back home. But it's now, of course, being put to rest. But of course, that's not happening today. The family still deciding where it is that they would like to bury the remains. But, you know, at the moment, what we will be witnessing this morning is them at Freedom Park and I suppose a spiritual blessing over them and welcoming, welcoming them back home.